Welcome to Body Sculpt of New York, Six Weeks to Fitness podcast, where we hope to inform, motivate, encourage, and inspire you towards living a healthier lifestyle. And now, here's your host, the president of Body Sculpt of New York, Vince Ferguson. Hi, I'm Vince Ferguson. Welcome to Six Weeks of Fitness, episode 183. Thank you so much for joining me today. Daniel Gray is a multi-passionate entrepreneur, Wilhelmina fitness model, speaker, professional athlete, and the founder of Train Like a Gymnast. She is also a certified personal trainer, specializing in body weight training, uh, nutrition, women's fitness, youth exercise, kettlebells, and pre- and postnatal exercise. She was also a former junior Olympic gymnast judge and coach. And here today on my Six Weeks of Fitness podcast to discuss her fitness journey and how you too can train like a gymnast is Danielle Gray. Danielle, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me and having the opportunity to to share my story and also inspire people to do their own thing. Most definitely. And you're doing it. You're doing it. And I want to find out first, though, before we talk about train like a gymnast, where did you grow up and what was your childhood like? I grew up in Manhattan Beach, California, so right next to LAX, uh, it's called the South Bay, and I'm an only child, and then I was raised by a single mom, and it was, uh, we were like best friends, you know, well, we still are, but it's just that kind of tight-knit community, um, family was very important and everything, and then I started gymnastics when I was four, and uh, I... (laughs) I dabbled in like ball sports, soccer and basketball, not, not that level of coordinated, um, which is weird because people think, oh, you're a gymnast, like you can tumble on a beam, but it's very different when there's an like, external thing <laughs> to, to manage as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my, my childhood was, was great. I, I, and I also realized or just naturally was entrepreneurial as a child. So what meaning when uh, I was in elementary school during recess, I would host little gymnastics classes for my friends down on the playground. Be like, hey, if you want to like take a gymnastics class, I'll teach you like bars. And we use like a curb on the edge of the playground for like beam. And I, I don't know if I was spotting kids. They probably should have said something. Or if I was just kind of showing them. Yeah. But you know, kids playing around. Yeah. So I did that and I, you know, I was pretty crafty thanks to my mom too. And and I would make like little Victoria's Secrets bags and people would cut out magazine stuff of like what they wanted. And I would like almost paper mache, but just like masking tape around it. Yeah. And I would sell it for 20 bucks. Like I was always kind of entrepreneurial throughout my childhood, but I never thought that I would end up an entrepreneur. I don't think because I knew I always had a problem with authority. <laughs> and people uh-huh. thought I to yes. do. Yes. Um, <laughs> But I always pictured for myself, like, oh, I'll have a job in like PR or something. I'll have a you know steady desk job, and I'll have the typical American dream, right? The the house and the kids by this age, and married by this age. Life is completely the opposite. Uh-huh. Yes, <laughs> of it is. All of that. yes. Yeah. <laughs> but that's kind of like just my personal background that that shaped me into who I am, um, and of course the gymnastics translates into so many different areas of my life with perfectionism and being, and being a recovering perfectionist and taking integrity or yeah having integrity and taking pride in my work and uh just my dedication and commitment to anything I set my mind to anything you set your mind to to do it awesome but now how far did you go with gymnastics uh not as far as a lot of people think so I got to level eight which is two levels before like collegiate what you see um and above collegiate is elite which is what you see in the olympics so i d- i didn't make it like crazy incredibly far people are like oh did you go to school for no i didn't <laughs> but i still was involved and i loved the sport and i had a i feel like i had more passion for the sport before i burnt out from it mm. but i always identified as a gymnast like D- danielle the gymnast And then when I retired, I had this crisis of like, am I still a gymnast? What, well, I'm not doing it. So what, what am I now? And like, what do I do to fill all this free time? And, uh, there was a little bit of a crisis there and I got to 
experiment with different things. Um, but it, it was, yeah, it, it, I wish I had gone further, but you do. one, had problems with authority. Two, wasn't in the right environment with my coaches or my teammates. Um, and then three, I think that this needed to happen. I needed to not go super far because my goals were kind of left like open. Like I didn't reach where I wanted to. Hmm. So there was always this kind of like, I wish I want to do more. I like gymnastics. I was just in the wrong environment. And that's what made me, you know, start coaching and judge and work for UCLA gymnastics and ultimately open my own company to help people train like a gymnast. Right. Right. But between that time, I, I understand you stopped, um training as a gymnast at the age of 15 right yes is that correct is that correct am i telling you i know i think it's 15 right? <laughs> 2007 so i had just turned 15 yeah so what did you do between the time that you quit you know gymnast gymnastics and you yeah. started your business what did you do in between all that time okay so 2007 through 2016 let's say wow i knew um, pretty much. Okay. So I immediately went into like musical theater, acting, dance, um, like tap dance, jazz, lyrical, and all that kind of stuff because I wanted to do acting. But as I got into it and stuff, it was fun. It was good to learn a lot about myself. It was good to have all these different, you know, angles to who I am. But when I started auditioning for stuff and I had an agent in for acting I have an agent for modeling now it's totally different right. um I I was like hmm I'm not feeling as passionate about acting as other people are and so I almost felt guilty if I were to get a part that someone else really really wanted yeah when I was like I'm doing this because it's like fun and I'm I don't know I'm just doing it but some people like this is what they want this is all they want yes, and yes. I, I was, I started to feel guilty and I was like, okay, this isn't my passion. Let's, let's start to leave this behind as I focused on college. And I always did a PE class every semester just to stay in shape and active. Um, and cause I didn't, hadn't done PE since sixth grade. Cause we could write out of it for gymnastics. Right. Oh, okay. uh, so I was just like yoga, weight training, stress management, uh, self-defense. Like there were so many other things that I did in college. And then my friend, uh, Sanam, she was taking a Lyra class, which is like the aerial hoop. Um, okay. And she was like, I want to try pole. Would you come with me? And so I went with her. She didn't like it. I loved it. So I ended up starting to train consistently in pole. And then she's right over there, right? And uh, I ended up competing at a regional and a national level and placing. So I'm technically a professional division pole dancer. Uh, I just don't compete anymore, um, <laughs> but I still train. It's fun. It's, it's, it was a good natural way to kind of use my gymnastics background in a different way for like aerial and circus stuff. Yeah. Um, and then the kind of the idea uh, for train like a gymnast came from me having an online desk or a desk job in online marketing, online desk job. <laughs> and I, uh, and I was still gymnastics coaching part-time. Okay. And then I got my personal trainer certification and I kept forgetting to pick up my checks at the gym. And I kept forgetting that I got paid to train people. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because it came, became like fun. You didn't think about being paid for it. Right. I was just like, Hmm, well, you're forgetting that you make money from this. So this is probably your passion. So you should follow it. <laughs> and it was just, you know, when, when you forget that you, are working for pay it it doesn't feel like work anymore you know so sure. that was a realization I had and when they offered me a promotion at my full-time job I was like I don't want to lead you on that this is the direction I want to go I think I want to follow this passion because at the time I was 24 I think 20 yeah 23 or 24 and I would rather try going into fitness and falling flat on my face than staying in a steady stable career for 20 40 years and looking back and being like what would my life be if i had just tried wow beautiful I, I know i can always sell myself i know i can always make more money i know i can always get a desk job yes <laughs> but there are there are certain things 
that you have a little window, like fitness modeling, personal training, while your body's healthy, whatever it may be. Yes. Um, and at first I was like, hmm, okay, am I going to be homeless? How do I get clients? What is my strategy? I had no strategy. No. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I ended up working at Equinox and I learned through like paid education mm-hmm. to uh, just how do you run a business? How do you manage a gym if I ever wanted to have a, you know, a brick and mortar? Um, all those, all those kinds of things. And I became a much better trainer. And I realized I was training people the way I used to train. I was training them like a gymnast, right? Right. Good. So yes. I was working on their balance, their proprioception, their strength and stability and doing specific core stuff instead of like, oh, well, when you do this, you're also working your core. Like I would dedicate and I would make them stretch at the end. It was a whole process. And so I kind of came up with this just layout of how I always train my clients. Um, and originally it started as an ebook back in the, the day. Really? The three month ebook that was it because yeah. 2016 that was like what everyone was doing, and then 2018 it turned into like an app based program with a 20 day challenge. So we'd get people in, they'd see results, and then they would continue into a VIP ongoing program. Oh, so wow. now we have an app, but it's just a different format, it's super user friendly and super amazing. I'm just putting like everything we've ever created in there with nutritional guidelines, recipe, uh, booklet, like. Uh, short workouts, long workouts, Instagram replays, and certain like pull up, pistol squat, beginner programs. And wow. I'm super excited. <laughs> and that's where you are today? Yeah. What wow. are these classes virtual and on, you know, in, in house? Yeah. So we, the, the app is all virtual. So right. this can be anybody anywhere in the world. You can download the app and, um, and train, right? And you can cast it to your computer, you can cast it to your TV. But we also, through Train Like a Gymnast, host retreats and workshops. Really? So if somebody is working on this stuff at home and they're getting stronger, but they wanna they wanna learn a back walkover or a back handspring or back tuck, and they maybe aren't near a gym where they can get a spot, they can come work with us in person and we do personal development. We um, do like different excursions with the group that comes with us. Then we rent out a gymnastics gym, we all stay at you know a house or an estate together really? and five day four night incredible experience really really Great so far yeah, yeah yeah where are these um events located so we did one in hawaii last year we did one in like tahoe and then this year we did park city next year i'm thinking i want to do one in like a warmer location so yeah. i want to get something to the east coast but it's hard to find tropical warm locations that also have gyms that also have insurance for adults so i can't be like a yoga retreat that's like oh let's let's go to like tulum or bali because Mm -hmm. it's a gymnastics retreat so i need to have a gym with safe equipment (laughs) that potentially hit because for me spotting adults is just there are different things and a lot of times gyms only insure up to the age of 22 because that's when most people stop is that right? Up until the age of 20, that I did not know. It's really frustrating. So a lot of gyms in this area will like have classes, but it's for kids and there are no adult classes or adults can't train there because their insurance doesn't allow it. So I even have a hard time with insurance. I have to get around in certain ways and like double overlap all of our policies and waivers. It's Yes, it's really? crazy. I did not know that. But talk more about those classes. Are these geared more towards women? And so what age group? Um, that's who typically ends up being our demographic. But I can like I taught a six foot four former former football player uh a back tuck on grass without equipment in an hour. And he really? got it by himself at the end of the day. Yeah. A, f- a former pro football player. I'm five foot four, he's six foot four. And I spotted really? him on on grass in Hawaii in 2019 and he got it <laughs> by himself that day. A couple of them got it by themselves later in the day. It was it was incredible. So that's kind of what started my one day workshop thing because people were seeing, oh, I can do this in one day. Right. And then started doing retreats for the longer form stuff. But our demographic is typically women between 25 and 40. Um, that's the, the demographic that really seems to resonate with this because either they didn't get as far as they wanted to in their gymnastics careers, or they always wanted to try gymnastics. 
and they didn't know that this existed or a way to, to get strong and flexible without having a gym membership, right? All of the stuff that I film on the app is in my house. It's in your house. Mm -hmm. so we can do this at home. Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. I'm ready like, to if you have your body, if you have a wall, if you have a chair, a couch, maybe some sliders. Like we have a, a kit, um, like it's a little workout kit that comes in a bag. It has two sliders, five mini bands and three like long bands. So you can do bicep curls, you can do shoulder presses, you can do, uh, you know, banded bicycles, you can do mountain climbers with the sliders. Like there are so many things you can do with just this little kit that barely takes up any space. And then you can do it on hardwood or on carpet. And that's what we want because we want to show people that you can train like a gymnast with very little space because we're not always just doing routines, right? Like in between our routines, we're lining up, we're on the ground and the coach is like, all right, hollow body rocks, ready, go for 50. And everyone's just side by side rocking. Like I want to be able to host an event one day where I can rent out a big space or a stadium and people can just come with a yoga mat yeah. and just yeah. like a gymnast, do some mindfulness work, some goal setting, some intention, visualization. Hmm. work out and then cool down with a stretch hmm. that's my goal i can definitely see that so yeah. i know a lot of women who are trying to lose weight and you know the yeah. new year is coming and that's one of their their goals so yeah. can training like a gymnast help them to lose weight a hundred percent you gotta be consistent though right so <laughs> if you go really hard for a week and then life happens and you stop training for three weeks and then you come back and you do another hard one. You're not going to notice a difference. That's why the 28 day challenge was so transformational. We had women in that 28 days, we had some women in their fifties lose really? like 12 pounds in a month. It's, it's excellent. Really? In a month. And then when they continue into, you know, the ongoing program and they just stay consistent, only talking about like three workouts a week. But That's it. Classic. yeah, Three. yeah. Who, who can't do that three workouts right. a week come on yeah right and a lot of people are like oh my gosh I can't do like 45 minute workouts or 60 minutes when you go to the gym think about how long like you end up at the gym you're probably there for like an hour because you get in you know whatever but this is a structure yes it's accountability it's structure you just execute you can schedule it get a reminder whatever it is but when people got into the ongoing stuff we had we had again women in their 50s losing yeah. 20 pounds and keeping it off. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Because I do so much holistically. So we work on the mindset, your limiting beliefs. Thank we you. also help the intermittent oh, fasting. And I don't like restrict you guys. Like you can eat what you want, but we're trying to limit and give your body a chance to rest and digest. So intermittent fasting, some people like, some people don't like. I try to see it as, okay, if you had, if you owned a factory and you had a bunch of workers, and you made them work all day, every day with like no rests or anything, they'd probably start making mistakes. Definitely. Or one of them would be like, I'm over this. Let's go on strike. And then they stop working. Exactly. Think about that as you're like digestive enzymes. If you're always constantly working. eating, they're never getting a break. So the intermittent fasting is more of like a break for your body so it can work more efficiently. Yes. That's ultimately what I'm going for. It's not oh, don't eat here, stop eating here, limit, restrict. It's just have a schedule, work on your time management, work on your willpower. <laughs> oh, definitely, yes. <laughs> but I'm not saying you can't eat a cookie <laughs> after, after your dinner. Just don't eat the whole bag. But, you know, try to, try to stay, you know, close to your goal, but you just have a window and it can adjust. If you've got a dinner that night, then scoot your window earlier. It's totally fine. So a lot of, a lot of people in the program really succeeded and did well with the intermittent fasting some days would fall off but then you just get back on the wagon you know um or get back on the beam um, <laughs> really yeah. really yeah do you have uh testimonials from women who have taken the course and yeah. believe in it i have i have over a hundred video testimonials no you don't i mean so that's really? part of my biz so anybody listening who's an entrepreneur business strategy so that 20 day challenge when we first started it was a quote unquote free challenge. People would put a deposit down. They'd basically bet on themselves. So they had to be 18, right? They'd bet on themselves that they could do everything required in the 28 days. Yes. If they did, they would get their money back. 
if they did not complete the all of the workouts and log their food, we would keep that deposit. Really? So, yeah. And then if they wanted to continue, the deposit just got like credited towards their continuing program. So <laughs> that is what was really, uh, really helpful. And then at the end, I had an exit interview. It was like after the 20 day challenge, if you want to continue, cool. If you don't want to continue, this is the final step to complete. And so I would just interview them for like five, 10 minutes. Be like, what did you like? What did you not like? What does it mean to train like a gymnast? Hmm. Um, what would you say to anybody else who's thinking about it? All of those I have saved and their, their video, their zoom video testimonials. And yes. it, it's crazy. I need to use them more, but they're on the website. Um, yeah. Excellent. Well, that's awesome. Though. I'm quite imp impressed about that. <laughs> now, do they have access to you, those who yeah. join? Yeah. So once or if, once you download the app, um, after every workout, it'll ask you to rate it, and then it'll ask you how how did it go. And when you answer how it went, it actually gets sent to me in my messages, and I can respond to it. I think it goes through email. Um, but you can always email team at train like a gymnast. You can always find me through Instagram at Danielle Gray Fit or train like a gymnast. I will respond to you if you're a human, right? I just don't <laughs> respond to bots. I, I awesome. want to help and I I want to have a dialogue because I don't believe in, oh, I have an app. If you use it, cool. If you don't, whatever. I am really invested, you guys. I am looking at my numbers every day to see, oh my gosh, we have another person in. We have another person in. I want every single person in the app to have their own personal transformation. And the more I know about you as a person and what you like and what your goals are, the more I can tailor the app to you. But if I have no idea who you are, I'm just throwing stuff out there like, oh, I think this is good. And you might use it, you might not. So you tailor the app to the individual's needs. Yeah, so like if somebody, if somebody messages me and like, oh, I want more of this, okay, that week I'll plan, all right, let's do a, a muffin top workout. Someone actually said that, so <laughs> let's do something that like targets. My, I mean, you can't spot reduce, but if people are giving me feedback right. what they want, um, then I will plan to do that. I'm, I'm not set in my ways. I will just create, all right, how can I train like a gymnast here, but help them target this or help them with this? Um, if you were super stressed at work and they're like, oh, this is great for busy days. All right. I know people are busy. So let me add in a couple more meditations where I kind of center them and, and realign them so they can continue the rest of their day. So I really, really want, I want to talk to people for sure. Wow. That is awesome though. Now, would you say that training like a gymnast is something that can be done world internationally? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So yes, I speak English. And um, yeah, yes, the follow along workouts are in English, but the programs that I have are short looping clips. So this is video, right? Like I can pull it. Oh, up. yes. Yep. Okay. So in the app, there are certain programs like, you know, because we're talking about the 28 day challenge. Once you're in the 28 day challenge, let's say you want to do core and upper body that day. It's going to take you about 45 minutes, which means when you click start, you've got two circuits. I always give you core. And then upper body, core, lower body, core, full body. Nice. You have a core workout every single time. Really? Every single time. And then I, ideally you're going to stretch at the end and cool down. But okay, let's start the core workout. Love this. Press the button. And it's just looping videos like this. So you can see it and I'm not talking. So you can literally just copy and repeat. Then here it'll tell you how many you know reps you got to do. You can uh, swipe up. There we go. And it'll tell you the, you know, the writing of like what you need to do, what you got to focus on. And for a lot of these too, it's kind of like Instagram where you'll just tap to the next thing. Um, but a lot of these will tell you a modification and a progression. Mm -hmm. So if it's too hard for you or it's too easy, then you just look in the description and then you change it up and make it fit for you. Nice. Now, how much is this app? So it's only a dollar for the first month. So you can give it a try. And then after that, it's only $14.99 a month after that or $99.99 for the year. Oh, $99.99 for the year. Yeah. That's, so you'll save even more if you do that, but yeah. Oh, yeah. But this is your, your app. You created this. So I'm on a, well, also there's another, there's another, but wait, there's more. Yeah. So, I, <laughs> so I'm on a platform, right? So all of my workouts are on this one platform. You'll download my app through that link 
You're not going to be able to find like the Train Like a Gymnast app in the app store. You have yeah. to go to trainlikeagymnastapp.com to download it. But once you download it, it'll always bring you to Train Like a Gymnast if you sign up through my link. But if you click the Discover tab, you will also get access to every other trainer on that platform with all of their workouts too. So you're, you're literally paying $14.99 a month, not just for me, but for some of your other favorite fitness, uh, you know. Oh, fitness. really? So you have, you have options, yes. access to a, a yes. ton of them. Absolutely. Do the, um, when you, when we pay for this, um, use of your app, mm -hmm. and the, the platform that's hosting it, are they getting paid for that? Yes. It? So this is, this is the thing. That's why it's so important to sign up through the train like a gymnast app .com mm -hmm. because when you sign up through our app, small business, right? We make a bigger percentage. There's a revenue split, right? So right. the platform gets some, but we get more. Okay. If somebody goes and downloads the main platform app first and then ends up using our stuff. We have to split with the app store. We have yes. to split with the platform and then we make a like a lower cut. Right. So right. if you're someone who loves to support female owned businesses or small business in general, yes. you're going to want to download through our mm -hmm. website. <laughs> Most definitely. This is an awesome business structure format. I love right. it. And again, with the holidays coming and then the new yes. year, people are going to be like looking for opportunities and ways yes. to lose weight. But again, it has to be realistic and sustainable. Exactly. Exactly. This is sustainable. This is real. Okay. Yeah. This is real. And I think you're going to do very well with this. Yeah. You know, and I definitely want to promote it in my yeah. circles because I know a lot of people looking for opportunities like this. This is right. great. Right. And it's, it's great. you don't have to just stay with mine. Like, sure, you're supporting me, but you can go train with like Kevin Hart's trainer. Or if you want to train with a, a fashion model. Like there are so many different trainers on there uh, with their own programs and stuff. So there are, there are yoga people who have like 90 minute meditations. I, I swear that's real. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's up to you. You can just kind of discover um, and experiment, but ultimately you're, you're supporting us. You're giving us a chance if you can stay consistent. And then on the, you know, your other days, just kind of check out and around, but I'm really about the sustainability. If you can't picture yourself doing something five years from now, it's not sustainable, right? If exactly. you're dieting, not sustainable. Intermittent fasting or focusing on portion control, that is completely sustainable. That, definitely. Like you're, it's, that's what I'm trying to get people's minds around is this is a lifestyle. It's not going to happen overnight, yes. but training like a gymnast is dedication, is consistency, is repetition. Talk about how many times we do one skill to master it. I don't think people realize yeah. that can be quote unquote boring because <laughs> it's not like a football game where you watch and it's a different team every time. And you know, it just happens. They call different plays. When you watch gymnastics, that one gymnast is doing the same routine at every competition for that entire season. Yeah. Wow. So you are, you yeah. are repeating those skills. That's why people are like, Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so, cause literally a four hour practice, you're doing the same skill like a hundred times. So, yes, exactly. So that's how you get strong and you get with your body. So I want people to really work on their core to get strong, but also lengthen their muscles so that they're less prone to injury. They're going to feel better, have less chronic pain. Yeah. And then of course, if you're consistent and you like training like a gymnast, then you're going to do it more often. You're not going to avoid it and yeah. you're going to see results. And then the body that you want is going to become a side effect. Mm, the thing that I tell a lot of people is when you're, if you did a sport when you were younger, you weren't playing volleyball to have defined and toned legs. <laughs> no. <And> then, no. <laughs> no. You weren't playing soccer to do this. You, you know, it, you were doing it because you liked it. It was fun. It didn't feel like working out or you wanted to get better. And that's ultimately what you need to discover as an adult. For some reason, there aren't like a lot of, organized adult sport like it's just not a thing and it blows my mind and i want to be <laughs> part of that change is like yes. just because you become an adult doesn't mean you have to just all right well that's done now i go to a gym to stay fit a lot of people don't like that just exactly that's what I'm, exactly that's what i'm getting at where yeah. do you see your yourself and your company in the next five years 
kind of what I was, I was explaining before. I want to be able to host like big meetups where I can, I can impact more lives in less amount of time, right? Someone brings a friend and then that grows and that grows and that grows. And I want to be able to hire coaches to teach workshops around the country as well. I want to host these retreats in incredible destinations and help see that transformation and be a part of life change. Cause I I've changed people's lives. I've heard from them, like just shifting their, their mentality or realizing that they can do something. If I can learn a backflip in one day, what else can I do? Boom. And it gives them like that courage to do more and take more risks. So um, I just want to continue to impact as many lives as possible. I would love for the app to have over a thousand members. Like that would, that would blow my mind and be amazing. If a thousand I, members, that's just like my minimum goal. I would love yeah. at least a thousand members. Yeah. Worldwide. yeah. How many members do you have now? Now I ask. About. It's funny. Cause I haven't told my, my ex and I live together. So <laughs> he okay. keeps asking me, but I, <laughs> but I oh. won't tell him. Oh, okay. um, I currently, I think we launched two weeks ago and we're at 61 right now. Okay. So, so it's still app growing. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. The app is new. The app is relatively new. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. And it's not even the new year yet. So I'm, I'm very exactly. excited because also, I don't know if anybody's heard of Vivo Barefoot. They're going to donate a pair of shoes every month for a year to, for us to do as we please. So starting in January, we're going to do um, month-long challenges where if you do that month's challenge, you get entered in a raffle to win a pair of Viva Barefoot shoes of your choice. We're also doing it right now as a sign-up bonus. So if you sign up before December 24th, you're going to be entered to win a pair of Viva Barefoot shoes. Really now? Really? I can see a lot of sponsors coming to you. I can see you opening. You already up. have a lot. I'm excited. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Where can my audience find out more about Danielle Gray and Train Like a Gymnast? So if you want to know about me, Danielle Gray Fit on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. I don't use Twitter. And on YouTube. Um, DanielleGrayFit.com is where you can see like my fitness modeling portfolio. It's where you can learn more about my story, see press and interviews, um, and podcast interviews, um, <laughs> on top. Then if you're interested in training like a gymnast, whether it be the retreats or the app or anything like that, just train like a gymnast.com. You can get to our Instagram through my Instagram or through that website. Um, and we'd have like a couple of freebies. There are a lot of, a lot of ways that you can train like a gymnast either for free or starting with the $1 for the first month app. Um, and potentially getting a pair of shoes. There's so much things. So I hope you guys reach out, ask questions, send me a DM. I check, I check my requests, I check comments, I respond to comments, everything like that. So there are so many ways to get a hold. Nice, nice. Daniel Gray, on behalf of Body Scope of New York and Six Weeks of Fitness, I want to thank you for coming on my show today. Thank you so much for having me. I hope I vomited enough words and information <laughs> <laughs> to your audience. <laughs> Now that's fine. And to my listeners, I hope this program was inspiring, rewarding, informative, and that you had a wonderful, wonderful time listening to Daniel Gray and participating on this show. And if you have any comments, suggestions for the show, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. And remember, you don't stop exercising because you grow old. You grow old because you stop exercising.